In this video, I will give you a quick run through all the quick shot modes that you get with the DJI Mavic Pro. If you're new around here, I'm Henrik Olsen, and if you want to improve your drone skills, learn about emails, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests, and tutorials. You get a lot of automated flight modes directly out of the box with the Mavic 2 Pro. Let's take a look at the, what you actually get, and I will just fly all of them for you to see how they work. The quick shot you access that under the intelligent flight modes, you go in here, like that. And let's start by doing a drone. The drone is basically where the drone backs away while it ascends to a certain distance. So right now I pick 40 meters and I will pick me as uh, the target, like that. And uh, it counts down and then it goes back while it's uh, ascending, like that. And once it has completed that, it will return to me. You can see it's uh, fairly easy to use these uh, quick shots. It's just simply just to, uh, yeah, they're pre-programmed to do all the work for you. It's not always that they fit into your schedule of things that you're filming, but uh, they are pretty handy if you just want to capture something that's uh, really nice and easy. So now it returns to me and we can uh, move ahead for the next one. So just let's stop it here and uh, go in here. The next one is uh, the circle and that one is uh, self-explanatory to us some degree. Just let's back it off a little bit here and then up in the air because uh, for this example I want to use the top of the building for the circle. I just want to make sure that it's plenty high like that. So, I basically select, draw a square around the top of the building, then I say go. And there's a reason why I'm not choosing me uh, as the point of interest for this uh, circle motion. And that is because when it gets behind the building, it can't see me, so it will actually lose track. So right now it's circling, and you can see that the percentage is counting up. Like that. And for some reason, the shutter is insane high, so there might be blur in this clip when we play it back. <laughs> a lot more than there need to. So let's just see. You can see it can keep tracking the top of the building. So, um, and that would not have been the case if uh, I was the subject. So. That was the circle function, so let's jump in and see what else we can do. There's a helix. The helix, that's an interesting one. For that one, we can also use the top of the building. That's sort of a spiral that goes up. So let's see how that goes. So now it turns around, now it circles around the building and it ascends while it increases the radius. So that also produces a pretty uh, nice uh, clip. See if it lost track there? No, it did not. So what I think it's actually doing there, if it loses visual track of uh, what it's doing, it sort of have a pin, like a GPS pin or something, that will keep it in the right position. It's, it's doing a fairly uh, good job. It's not 100% uh, accurate keeping me uh, in, uh, in the center, but that was basically the helix. So the idea with that one is that it circles around and it expands while it ascends into the air. And it's also pretty nice that it's returning when it's done, so you don't need to think about that part. And the next we can do is rocket. I think rocket, we need to bring the drone here. And if I do like that, and I pick me as the person to be sort of the star in the rocket shot. This is what happens. So it goes up and it keeps me in frame. It basically tilts the gimbal downward so it can keep me in the frame. And you can see that is a, is a pretty unique shot there. 
and I will actually disappear behind the building. So I don't know how it will handle that. Again, it just put in uh, this GPS pin and try to do the best job it can. But it turned out still pretty nice, I would say. And now it returns, so we can try one of the remaining modes. So. Yeah, it's basically playing uh, the whole scene backward. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty nice. Okay, so let's jump in and see what else we have. We have the boomerang. The boomerang, that is a really, really nice one. So basically the idea with the, with the boomerang is that it starts in this level, then it goes backward, higher, and then it returns to the position where it was, like that. I'll be right back. I'll go in the middle of the field. So let's see how that works. So if I press like that, then let's see what it's doing. And always remember to keep your hands on the pause button, because that is your friend. Because right now it's, that's pretty <laughs> exciting. So you see that result was a lot better of the boomerang but also a bit risky so that was the boomerang so what do you think about that that was pretty risky but i was uh, prepared using uh, the pause, pause button if it uh, was trying to collide with something but um, that was a pretty risky shot so let's go and see the last one the last one is asteroid and you've probably seen that many times it's where it does this globe thing so let's just do like that and I think you can bring it a little bit closer that will make it a lot more interesting oh like that so we're doing the world world domination like I fondo would say <laughs> I let him take care of that part So that one will basically turn the whole uh, Velus uh, airfield, airbase, into um, a sphere. But you're not, uh, you can basically not see those uh, before. Uh, see now, it does, um, it takes all the spherical pictures that it needs to stitch together in the end. So you get this uh, nice globe effect. So now, it, uh, now it's done and it's uh, returning. The whole uh, post-processing that happens inside the app. It's doing da, 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 crunch, 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 crunch. And the cool part about uh, all these clips, you can preview them all from the, from the app and you can share them to social media directly from within here. So that's pretty nice. So let's just play it. Oh, it also adds music. So that's uh, pretty sweet. So how about that? That was a pretty cool one. <laughs> Maybe that should be the intro to this video. Okay, that's enough. So also the other ones there in here, so you can play them back. I actually didn't know that they are adding music. <laughs> that's pretty nice. So <laughs> you just share them right away. So now you've seen all the quick shot modes and I hope that gave you a rough idea. Which one uh, was actually your favorite? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then make sure to press the like button. If you didn't like it, then feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.